Greetings, Earthlings, uh, and whoever else might be watching. I am trying to show you some stuff, so let's do that. This came yesterday, I believe it was the uh, Hatsubaibi. The, uh, <laughs> I don't remember the words for English stuff, how to, how to speak. The first initial date of availability. <laughs> this is a flap cover plus, it says. Flap cover plus. Uh, so this one's not from Hori. This is, it's not an official Nintendo something something like this other one that is, I believe, still quite expensive. This is from Columbus Circle, but I want to crack it open and compare it. This one's specifically designed for the Coral uh, Switch, and there's not. At least, it doesn't seem to me that there have been a, a ton of products released specifically for that color. Uh -huh. So, and I don't know how all this is going to match. Let's find out. I uh, don't know. So, it's pretty simple, but that is really pastel. I'm thinking that's not gonna be an exact match because I don't remember the coral switch being quite as Easter-y looking as that, but let's see. Um, right now, I've got my favorite cover, uh, grip cover from Skull & Company in their dedicated case on the, that, and it matches perfectly, right? Exact. Pretty much exact. This is really close, but it's a bit more pastel. It'll still look nice, but you know, it's not exact. So the Skull & Company one's awesome for a number of reasons. One, it feels good. Uh, you've got protection on the back here, unlike the Satisfy one. Um, and it's, it actually protects the buttons. I don't know how important that is to people. And then you can just pop it off really easily, but when you don't, I mean, when you're playing, it feels sturdy, right? But when you want to take it off, it's not hard to do. So let me just do that right now. Of course, I said it's not hard to do, so I will struggle with it. That's just the way these things work. Okay, <laughs> and see how easily this goes in. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this hard plastic on the inside, because that's gonna make it a little bit easier to scratch things, but oh my. And then we also have, this is kinda, looks really cheap. Um, s actual suction cups, really? They're using suction cups? Okay, let's just put this on. <laughs> I'm glad I only bought one. So, it actually matches a bit better than I thought it would, but you can kind of tell it's not exact. But it's close enough for government work, as my father used to like to say. Okay, so then it goes on there, and it's it's okay, I guess. And then, what in the world? Okay, so I've got um, analog stick covers on right now, so that's not going to work. I'll have to take those off if I want to use this. So let me just do that. I've got really tall ones on there, I think. So these are also from Skull and Company. So, and they just are really on there, you know. So got them off. <laughs> and now let's see what happens. Uh huh. It seriously closes with suction cups. That's the stupidest thing I've seen in a while. I'm sorry, not, not really a fan of that at all, because it means every time you use it, you're gonna get little suction cup marks on your screen. Like why not just, if you wanna have it so that it closes securely. Uh, ever heard of Velcro? It's a thing. Or like a snap. Really, suction cups? I mean, I'll give them this, it's something different. Oh my head, suction cups, seriously. And then this thing on the back, I mean, not necessarily a complaint, but just pointing out, it's a little tiny bit of a missed opportunity, not that this has anything like that. But it, you know, this could be some kind of a stand or something. But it's just a simple holder. I don't know. This is this is really weird. I can't believe it has suction cups. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to the suction cups. And to be fair, it's only they've only been sucked on there for like seconds, but it's not a noticeable mark. Also, I've got a, a, a thin plastic um, screen cover on this, and I wonder if over time doing this over and over again is gonna start to pull that away from the screen. I don't know, I just feel like that's a, that's a silly design decision. They could have done it with magnets. They could have done so many other things besides suction cups. Why, why suction cups? Okay, so getting that out of the way, it has a, you know, it's fake leather, but it has a nice, decent feel to it. It just makes it super Easter looking, you know. Um, but I, I don't hate it. I just, I'm really surprised by the suction cups. Okay, so for comparison, this is the kind of higher quality, classy, more expensive one. I forget what this was. I want to say it was like 
shoot, I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen how much I paid for it. But I'm, I'm sure it was cheaper than this by about half, actually. Uh, although I did end up getting this for half price, but that's another story. This one is just nicer all around the construction, the design, the lack of suction cups. And now again, I'm going to have to take off my analog stick covers. How frustrating. Okay, analog stick covers, I'm sorry. Okay, and that's just sleek. And I mean, for me, if I'm going for sleek and it's this kind of a low profile thing, I'm gonna go for this color of a switch light to begin with. And this stays on too, but no, no suction cups, right? Uh, it's magnetic, but it doesn't have like the sleep function or whatever, I'm pretty sure. So this has no battery power at the moment, so I can't do any kind of testing. But I'm much more a fan of this one, and uh, I'll just say that. But this could be worse, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. But I mean, if I were going to only pick one case for my uh, coral switch light, it would be this one for sure. Skull & Company grip case. Um, but as far as this one goes, it does have these grips built in as far as accessibility goes i feel like yeah it's not awesome then again how often do you really take out your SD, micro sd card right as long as you can get to the games and the buttons it's probably okay um here we go so on the bottom it does have cutouts for the speakers which is maybe better than this one on this one the speakers have to bounce off of it and then kind of come up to your face and in some ways that could be better actually because they're pointed down and they should be pointed at you. So I don't know about that. And then fairly similar, the switch is exposed right there. It's like, we'll protect some of your switch, but not all of it. You know, this one, it's just so much better, honestly. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Um, but if you want a, a cover for your coral switch that's the same color and you don't mind suction cups, you could do worse than this. Now, this, can this function as a stand? That's the next question. I, yeah, it can, it, it does stand up. So there's that. And I'm pretty sure this one can do that as well. I mean, it's not rocket science or whatever. It's just balancing it so that it doesn't fall over and they both will do that, I'm pretty sure. Although to be fair, it seems like this suction cuppy orange one does it a little better because it's, has this edge that can flex and it kind of sticks to the table with the uh, pleather or whatever it is. So suction cup or no suction cup, you decide. Let me get it more in screen so you can have another look. This is how they mold. This is how they look. It is cheaper. So there is that. Sorry for all the times this video has gone out of focus. I just can't tell. Maybe I'm just old. Probably just stupid though. Anyway, <laughs> um, I actually am really fond of this one and like it's not perfect, but I've, I've grown to like it a lot just because it's, it just seems, um, you know, it's quality. It feels, it has a feel of quality to it. And I mean, at some point I'm going to be willing to just toss, I mean, I kind of am already, just toss my switch in my bag or whatever, but I'm the kind of person who puts a case and a cover on something and then puts it inside another case. So, I don't know. It's probably not worth the extra 1,000 or yen or $10 of resale value that I keep on something that I probably will never sell anyway. So, I see here where this kind of felty uh, cover is glued on and it's trying to come up a bit. So, not like the highest quality thing and it's not gonna last forever, but Again, if you can get one for 20 bucks or less, it's probably all right. Suction cups though, really? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know about the suction cups. Okay, so this video has been brought to you by me. Thanks for watching, Bye bye Okay, one other thing I need to add to this. This one, when you're actually playing it, there's no extra grip on the back. It's just flat and this thing's flapping around, but you get used to it and it feels fine, you know. However, this one, as I mentioned before, does have grips built onto it and they do feel nicer. I mean, they, they do give you something to put your fingers against. And this flap is not as heavy as this one or it doesn't feel as heavy anyway. So 
it's actually, this one's actually more comfortable to hold when you're playing it. I hardly noticed this, this one flopping around. Whereas this one, it's a bit more noticeable. But again, I prefer this one just because it's sexier. So, suction cups or not, I don't know. Bye bye